Welcome back to another Advanced Game Maker Studio tutorial and this time I'm gonna do with you guys the Earthbound follow system which is kind of easy to implement in a few minutes so if you wanted to know how to do that in Game Maker Studio and make your 5 bazillion followers well you have come to the right place this is one up indie I am the developer of the indie game Clunky Souls and a programmer slash pixel artist. So if you're new here and you want more, consider subscribing to my channel because I upload every day a video and subscribe to my channel. That would be nice. I actually said that already. Actually, I wanted to say share my stuff. All right, let's get into the good stuff. So how can we actually do that? The principle is quite easy. I just have two objects. One is the player which is storing some stuff. So he's basically recording and then we have this follower here and then what do we do? We just have an array with this player and then the player is for example moving like a few steps and every time we change our x and y position we just store those things and then, well, we just say, hey, follower, you are on this position locked and maybe the next follower, you are locked on this position. And then they will just copy as kind of like a follow ghost or whatever you want to call it on these kinds of positions. They will just follow. And well, this is what we're going to do. And then I will just show you with the sprites how you can adapt that. But this will be just two parts. So first of all, just the position update, bam. You sit on this one, you sit on this one, then we're done. And the other one, a little bit more advanced or not advanced, just well, so it looks good. So let's kill the running program and let's kill all the stuff, which is in our follower and our player, because we want to, uh, well, create and do some stuff. So first of all, let's kill here. Let's kill here yeah. and let's go into our player. So first of all, we just need to um, assign how many positions actually we want to store. So um, I just go for 94. This is way too much in my opinion because we need, we are looping all the time and well, resetting this these kinds of positions. So if you're just having like two or three followers, I don't know, 20 or 30 positions are good enough. But well, in this demonstration, we'll do just do a little bit more. So here, first of all, we need to create an array, which is storing the recent or just storing like uh, the X and Y position for now. We are just in the create event. So we just need to fill it up with some stuff. And that I call position X and position Y. And because we run an array negatively, because we say, hey, we start with 94 minus one, and then we run it down. And once we are uh, below zero, then we stop the loop. And then those positions zero, one, two, three, four, five, um, they are being stored for now, just with the current X and Y position. So we fill it up. So for now, nothing really actually changes. This is just for you to know how many recorded positions you want to have. Now we come to the more interesting part. We need to update stuff. And how can we actually update? Well, we are checking if we are moving. How can we do that? Quite easy. We're just checking, hey, is our current X position different than the previous one? So here a little zoom in. So if you haven't seen it, if you're watching this on your mobile. So here's again the thing, just forgot to zoom in, sorry, my bad. And then, well, we are recording now if we change our position. So what are we uh, doing? Basically, we're just running the same loop again. And now we are just shifting and moving the old positions minus one. So what we are doing, we're just taking, taking the current i position and then we overwriting it with the minus one version so we are always um, resetting the last position and off so basically we're just 
deleting their last position and updating it, so moving all the other numbers upwards. So this is quite important to understand. And here uh, we need to, after we did our loop, we need to have our current x and y established, which is just x. And the other one I will copy paste because I am lazy and y. So once again, what are we doing here? So basically once we are moving with our player, we reshuffle. On the really reshuffle, we just take the minus one position, the current one which we saved, and then uh, here zero. And then here in this part, we just in our loop, we just move it up or minus one or the position. So we update the whole array of x and y positions. So we're just leaving the, the oldest one out. And this is it. And for example, this is the oldest one because we're doing it reverse. And therefore we just say, hey, the zero position is our X and the uh, Y position is the current Y. And for example, for now, this is pretty good. And we are actually taking this stuff. So what are we doing here? Here we just go into our follower and then we go into the step event and say, hey, my X is the position of our player. So here we say, hey, my X and Y are those positions which are being recorded. But because we don't want to say the Y position, because then we would be instantly on the same spot as the player. We don't want that. We just say, hey, let's go for number 10 or you can save a variable which is definitely better we call it a record and let's say for now 10 later on we will change it so we can dynamically spawn a few more so we just say hey bam bam so once again we're just updating the from the guy which is following the players recorded x and y position in this array and we need to of course create this guy so what do we do we just basically eat a little bit and say oh, come on where are you i did i delete it yes i did we just take here let's be a little bit cheap here so basically we just say follow one and the other ones we kill um we say hey our first follower is being created and then we say hey uh, give it a recorded position of 10 so we just do something like this uh, 10 yep so what are we doing we're just basically saying hey our first follower needs to have the 10th recorded position so once we for example start it now um, we're having a thing which is following us of course it looks a little bit yeah ugly but as you can see it already does its things and as you can see there are 10 positions between that and this is the 10th saved recorded position as you can see works pretty fine and the other ones of course you can have second one i don't know let's make it on 20 start it again and this is how you can actually build the whole follow-up and then folks of course if you just wanted to know how to do that well, <laughs> we are pretty much done. Maybe if you want to know how to do the rest, which you saw in the video, stay tuned because I'm going to show that as well. Because for now, we're just storing the X and Y position. But maybe we want to store as well the image, image X scale and the last sprite being used on this recorded position. So once again, we go into our layer fill up the array with some dummies so i just call that to record sprite and then just fill it up with uh, useless sprites because this is the default one just the hero down because the hero just has like uh how many does it have not a lot so basically just going one down one up and one to the side and the side can be swept 
uh, uh, change between image x scale and o minus one and one because then you flip it to the left side and then you flip it to the right side and therefore we just use three sprites totally for a top-down game this is good enough but because we are flipping here on the side therefore we need to record as well the image x scale as well so here to record sprite and record image x scale and for now this is just being created so it stored those values but of course we want to update them and as you can see we can actually do the same stuff in here so we just go and i just copy paste it instantly bam we're just taking and updating to the minus y position of our sprite which we stored last time and then of course it's getting updated and the image x scale why do i do that so um, we can actually apply it to the follower and here of course we need to have the same thing for the current version to update so this is the new one which is coming on the zero position so we just say hey the current to save sprite on the zero position is sprite your sprite index and your image x scale is your current image x scale and that stuff is getting like pushed up at some point and so the whole array fills up and then we can go to our follower because for now he's just following the position but you want him to be well the same as the guy and for example here this guy for example our follower has a uh, uh, well a uh, sprite as well i just put it in here so you can actually dynamically uh, put it in so for example um, you can of course do something like this and go instantly put that in but they didn't want that so you can actually dynamically make a lot of followers and they look distinct even though they are not because they're just a clone of the clone of the clone so let's go in here what i'm doing i'm just basically checking hey switch layer then recorded sprite on the record position so this is the same which we're using here so we are recording x and y and then we recorded before and overwritten our sprite and then we're checking hey was the um, the player going to the side then we assign the sprite side which is here or if, if he was going down then go use the sprite down and then of course because we go to the side we have a different image x scale we need to check hey copy the Im recorded image x scale as well on this specific position and then we're pretty much done and for example once we start it then you will see that the see now they are following and right? this is looking good but for example now you see wait a minute but they're still animating how can we remedy that well pretty fast we just go for image no 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 image speed so our image speed needs to mirror which one yes you guessed it the image speed of the player itself because the other one isn't animating as well so let's go check that out and now you will see that they stop animating once i move so bam 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 as you can see nicely moving and then well this is pretty much it and for example if you say hey i want to customize now my followers this is how you can actually do it you just go into the create event and then well what i did here kill this entry put them a little bit up come on go up now you can for example create different kind of followers then store them in a variable follower then say hey you are on the record position 20 the next one on 30 the next one on 40 or whatever distance you want to put it in so record a distance i mean and then you assign different kind of sprites so you can have like different kind of followers and this is dynamically then used to distinguish and set up your followers every time they're being spawned then image blend is just basically so you see hey <laughs> give them different kind of colors so they kind of look different which it is not and as you can see bam you can create lots of lots of lots of followers bam and they stop and they follow as you can see they 
only mirror your movement. So that was pretty much it. Hopefully that was of interest to you and now you know how to copy that stuff from Earthbound which kind of looked cool. Alright, that was it. Have a good one. One up indie.